Hi, this is Skylar, and today I'll be showing you how to use MindMeester. So to find it, you would just go to MindMeester.com. I really like this one because it keeps everything very organized, and it's very simple to use. So to use, you're going to go to My um, Maps, and you'll have to make an account. It's free, which is nice. So you go to New Mind Map. Um, I chose to do blank ones. There are templates, but they're very specific, and I found them kind of hard to use. So making your own is pretty simple. So we'll click blank. Um, maybe later. So here it is. This is how it'll look when you start. So today I'll be making one on Key West. So um, you click on this, and... To make a branch off of it, you're going to click this little plus sign, and I could put location, and I'll also put activities, I can never spell activities, and I can put restaurants, and so we'll just start with that for now. So location. I can put okay and then for activities I'll just put party boat fishing and off of that if I want to add something I would just highlight it and click add and I could put my favorite fishing boat, which is the Tortuga 4. And that is located at Conk Harbor Marina. Restaurants, I really like the Blue Haven, which is good for breakfast and lunch. And I love the banana pancakes. Okay, so now this is just a pretty basic one, but it'll give you the idea. So now I could go over here, and I love this feature. You can go here and click any one of these. So I really like this one. And you see how it organizes everything? I just, that's like my favorite feature. So if I want to add another restaurant, ignore my notifications. Um, if I want to click another restaurant, I would go here, and I could do Sloppy Joe's. And then if I want to do something off of that, I could click here. And I love how it just branches off. Like, it's very organized, and I really like that. I could put touristy. Um, for a location, I could add surrounded by water. Location, I could put... Island. So this is pretty basic. Um, so if I want to make different colors or add different features, I could do this and it would highlight the entire box. So if I want to make it kind of crazy like that, my type A personality does not like this. So I might just do all the same. Oops. And we could highlight each one if we wanted to. So here we can go here. And the main headings, we could just highlight. Here. Okay. And if you want to change the colors, you can always do that and play around with colors a little bit. Um, I like it pretty simple, so I didn't play around with colors too much with mine. So there's a very simple version. So I will show you mine that I made about poisoning and overdoses. It's, yeah. So another thing I like about MindMeester is it has a presentation feature. So if you go down here to this little PowerPoint thing, you can, it will highlight all of these. And it will show you one. So it will take you through the slides. Um, so I'll just show you that real quick. 
So it's sort of like a Prezi. Um, I would have to play with it a little bit more on the presentation to be comfortable giving a presentation. Because as you can see, it doesn't go to the subheadings down here. It just goes to the main ones. So, but that is a pretty cool feature, feature for being a free web-based app. All right. So now... Um, that's pretty much all I have to show you for Mind Me, sir. It's pretty cool. I recommend it. And there is a simple download feature, um, that you can export it to. I, again, like exporting to PDFs, so I'll do that again. And export. And here it is. So I'll open it. And now, obviously, when I print it, it's going to be pretty small um, fonts, but that's what you get. But uh, overall, I really like this app, and I hope you try it.